Hello everybody, and welcome back to Divinity, Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. Uh, we're in the same place we left, on, left off last episode, and we were going to head over the bridge and head towards the, um, the White Witch's cabin, I think we we're heading for. But I think we'll take a slight detour first, because I've realised that we haven't had a look at this yet, the following the Trail of Blood. Which we need to do, really. Yes, there we go. You there, your night shift. Oh, please come to our aid. My wife and I are stranded here. Oh, what are you doing here? We're refugees, my liege. Two of the far too few souls that managed to escape Hunter's Edge when the orcs invaded. We were hoping to reach Silverglen, but we were attacked by highwaymen. Those devils would have scalped and skewered us if it hadn't been for Alfie. Well, the brave creature bit one of them in half, though not before being frightfully wounded himself. Uh, tell me about Hunter's Edge. Oh, it was not but a small stop for trading folk along the long road south to Sicile. Well, we got along all right, but now our little home's finally been undone. Orcs invaded, and the source hunter who was meant to protect us didn't save a one of us. Let's discuss Alfie. Bravest beast of burden in the borough is Alfie. But the poor blighter's bleeding like a stuck pig and can't move no more. Which means we can't move no more either. Why, it would be folly to abandon a bandit killer in a wood full of bandits now, wouldn't it, your knightship? Besides, all our worldly wealth is strapped to his back. We'd be destitute without it. And yet, we can hardly stay here forever. Silver Glen is close enough to see the chimney fumes from here. Mara absolutely refuses to leave Alfie's side, and like I said, I'm inclined to agree with her. If only <clears throat> a stout champion would uh, step up and lend us a hand. I think, I think that's a, a clue that he wants us to help. <laughs> Maybe I can lend a hand. Oh, we'd be mighty grateful if you would escort us to Silver Glen, your knightship. But for it is our aim to set up shop there. A new smithy and a new town. Without Alfie, though, without the tools he carries, I'd be like a fisherman without his rod, grasping for salmon with his bare hands. Never could I produce the quality of work for which I'm renowned. Our predicament is clear, and the biggest problem is that Alfie's wounds are so dire, no ordinary healing potion will work. He needs... Well... I don't know what he needs, but they say miracle cures are produced by the priests of Silverglen. Okay. Any discernible um, flavor. Really we are, my liege. Though, like I said, it would. Uh, you're right. We should try to heal Alfie Indeed. first. Indeed, he carries your belongings, after all. I'm glad you've agreed. Alfie needs to be saved before we can depart. Uh, please leave no stone unturned in your search for a concoction that will heal his wounds. Alrighty then. I think we should have just a thing. And we do. We have a bloodstone. Which I'm not going to need. Oh, what a pain. Demons take all bandits. I bit one of the buggers in two. And still he's stabbed and stabbed before he finally croaked. Uh, tell me about yourself, Alfie. I have no idea what I am, really. But only that I was caught in a snare when I was very little. Luckily, the hunter thought I didn't look quite appetising enough to be eaten, and so he sold me to Mara. Bjorn didn't like the look of me at first, but when I grew strong, stronger than five stallions combined, I was suddenly promoted to carrier beast. Were that I was weak, for I loathe carrying things. Perhaps we could find a way to heal you. Bless your heart merely to suggest it, my friend. But you'll need powerful magic indeed to cure this devilish gas. I've heard they dabble in healing rituals in Silver Glen, which is, ironically, the very place we're unable to reach, us three. We have obtained a bloodstone. A bloodstone? Then it is in your power to heal me, will you? We have the means to save this animal, and so we shall. That would be the kind thing to do, yes. My word! Well, this is marvellous! Nay, miraculous! Outlaws be damned! I am healed! A 
as powerful as it is sinister. What was that? A bandit? Oh, oh no. It's nothing but a squirrel. Oh, God. Dear, oh, dear. My nerves are all shot. <laughs> right. Look, well, it looks like that was unlocked another room in the uh, end of time at the homestead. How are you holding up, my sweet? Uh, we've healed Alfie, he's fully healed, so I'm now fine. talk to the Don't Beyond again. again. What do you say, your knight ship? Will you escort us to Silver Glen? I'm ready to escort you to Silver Glen if you are. We are your knight ship. With Alfie healed, we're raring to go. Come, we're leaving for Silver Glen. Right you are, Sir Knight. This is it, Mara. You and Alfie stick close together now. Onward, to Silver Glen. Onward, my friend. Let us go. Oh, 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 oh. I knew that man, comrade. A fine blacksmith, Bjorn. It gladdens me more than you can imagine to see he and Mara escaped Hunter's Edge. But it's no wonder he blames me for what happened there. Well, it started like any other day, comrade. I told you before, and this much was true. Hunter's Edge. Uh, I've got to speed you up here, Medora, otherwise he's going to die. Century. And save the I was on patrol one sunny. What I did find was you and I both know that now. Their kind all was peaceful back at the village. Night had owned those of us who I made my it's a promise. Let's for now maybe we Right, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, folks. If you want to read what Medora said. Silver Glen! I can see the watchtowers! We're almost there! Then please by all means pause the video and read it. I had to get here before that happened. <laughs> right, uh, let's see what we can do here. Have we not got any? Yes, we have. Um, let's have you. And shoot you. I think. That seems fair enough. Where is she? There she is. Forest Temptress. Let's see if we can get her on our side. Makes life so much easier. Scarlet. Medora. Increase her attack as usual. Oh, here we go. Fire damage. Oh, well, that's right. Attack the Temptress, please. <laughs> Show up with you. Uh, I think we need to get a zombie out. I'll do. Yeah. Go on, Nick. Let's see what you can do. Always seems very strange saying that, since my name is Nick. Not zombie Nick, just Nick. And he poisoned him. Thank you very much. I'll heal him nicely. Oi, get off. Oi. Got two of them. And that will get two as well. Nice. Away from me, fiend! Away! Away from me, fiend! Away! Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't we'll say it on Guatemala, please. Thank you. Let's just teleport, then. As thrilling as the stage, though not half so bloody. Oh, come on, Nick. Well, I must say, Alfie, to say you're such a hero and saved uh, Bjorn and Mara, you're not doing an awful lot to help me, are you? Right, let's just try and knock you down. Ah, 
and stunned. That is very nice. Alright, what have we got here? Uh, what can we do? Uh, I'm not sure if that's all we killed. Do I need to get a skelly out? Uh, yeah, what the hell, eh? That charm's going to wear off pretty soon, I think. One turn. Charmed one turn. Okay. Get another attack off. That'll heal onto Roderick. Can this finish? Behold, the power of yes. No, 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 no. Um, can't reach you. Let's try not you down. Encourage everybody. Let us make them pay, friends. Away from me, fiend! Away! Come on, Beyond, hurry up. Say what you gotta ah! say. Nice crit. Is that it? One hit. And I'll figure as much use as wet fart in a space suit. Uh, yeah, we'll attack here. That's that one down. I'll take it you're going to wake up next turn. Charm's gone. Um, let's give him a zap. Of the Magi. We definitely need to do something about you. Right, can we bleed? Yes. That's very nice. Get right in close. Life as he got crippled might do nicely there if we can reach. Crippled. That's always nice. Ah! Oh, someone help me, please! Save me! I'll write oh, my next tale in your me. blood! There you go. Have some foot in the face. How many turns has he got left? Two turns. Right, okay. Let us knock you down. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Good job he was immune to charm. Well, let's try some fire on her. Burn for me. And we can have a bit more fire. Nice. Oi, no dodging. Oh, really? 
so close. Alright, are you all going down? Please. There we go. Away from me, fiend! Away! Ah! Would you care to hear a little tale? Oh, I'll move him up, but he's going to die next turn. He's not going to have time to attack him. It's a shame. No, nope, can't attack him. Stunned. I'm dead. Alright, a little hit from you should do that one. Stand down before I put you down. Stand down before I put you down. That's the way to do it, Roderick. Uh, can we reach over here? No, damn it, we can't. Stay the combat. Nice. Oh, don't run away. That's really unfair. Ready for the final assault. But you can't hit, can you? No. No. No, something in the way there. What's in the way? Just the terrain, I think. A fireball. There we go. Ah, they're pretty easy. Right. Nobody needs healing. Robust leather braces. Gold. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Do this. I don't think he's in any danger. Just in case, we'll stay with him. No, he's going to town now. There we go. May the goddess guide you through the forest and keep you safe. Hmm. You did it! Oh, Mara, my love! Truly have we been delivered. You live, Alfie lives, and I do too. Oh, joyous hour! I still can't believe it! Silver Glen! What is to become of us here, I wonder? Oh, but I know, don't I? A blacksmith I was in Hunter's Edge, and a blacksmith I'll remain, for such is my one purpose in life. Aye, come what may, your knightship, I thank you for standing by me, by us, during our hour of need. I thank you. You are very welcome, Bjorn. Updated, escort job. Amount of healing magic. There we go, that's that one done. Oh, I haven't done the craze. Uh, right. 
That's what it means, really. Yeah, we can head to the... Witch's cabin, I think. Is this the right way? I think this is it. Come along, people. We we'll better put a save in there, I think, as well. There we go. Nope. The Void Watcher. And a mushroom. Did you see that? A shadow just sprang to life. Strange magic indeed. Perhaps we're nearing the White Witch's lair. I think perhaps you're right. Oh, look at that. A chest. Let's get that. Sharp scimitar, unidentified oh, waistband. Hmm, 23 HP. Let's look, see if my daughter can use that, eh? Exactly. Oh no, slightly better than what she's wearing, so yes. Equip. Send that one to Roderick. Did we make the de decision on? on this journey that she would be the crafter. I think we did, didn't we? Can't she do that yet? Yes, she can. Their daughter. Won't be able to do that yet, though, I don't think. I think that's crafting level 5, I think, or 4. Let's find the uh, the witch's cabin. Hmm. Do I need to save? No, I don't think so. Ah, the source hunter. It is my greatest pleasure to announce to you that we immaculates have captured the feared white witch and quarantined her house of horrors. Yes, the greatest known threat to Rivalon has been neutralized. Thanks in no small part to you, source hunter. Your activities in Sicil drove the snake to her den, and that's where we immaculates sprang our trap. Okay, I don't think we need to know who he is, uh, but we do need to know about the White Witch. I need to question the White Witch about her involvement in the murder of the Councillor Jake. Ah, the High Councillor of Sicil. We mourned his tragic death. Yes, every Immaculate honours the memory of that noble man. Still, Source Hunter, I am sworn on my life to guard this quarantine. I serve a higher authority than yours and will not waver in my duty. <laughs> there is no authority higher than that of my boot soles. Uh, right. Oh, we won it. That's pressing the auto thing. Well, that's a bit of a surprise. I wanted to kill him. <laughs> I've heard your kind could be particularly uh, <clears throat> persuasive. Go on then, Source Hunter. But please, tell no Immaculate I let you pass, or it will be my life. Oh, well, damn it. Uh, got some shrooms to pick up. What's that? I think there are hidden foes ahead. Do you know? We got anything else here? Oh, we need to get this, because we need to go to the end of time, don't we? Right, so we've got the witch's cabin now, so let's head to 
the end of time and find out what room we unlocked. By using the star stall. Meet again, and well met you are. Did you know I've constructed a little theory about you both? Yes, I have indeed. The theory is this. You are not you. Or rather, you are you, but you is not all there is to you. <laughs> and that goes for both of you. But I see you're staring at me like a cow stuck in an astronomy lesson, so uh, let me start again. I think that you carry two souls inside of you. One that belongs to the mortal human beings that you are now, and one that belongs to certain someones with whom we've both become acquainted. You remember that segment of the tapestry your efforts helped to mend, don't you? The two great generals, how they led the battle against the Void's first attack on Rivalon? Mm, are you implying the souls of those two generals are within us? It would explain a lot, wouldn't it? Your connection to the Void, your presence here at the end of time. True, the mystery of Starstone remains, but at this rate, we'll have it sorted out in two shakes of Ahu's tail. As luck would have it, a new portal awaits. Perhaps answers do as well. So, onward. Indeed, onward, after we've had a quick conversation. Scarlet. A second soul? Do you think it could be true? Uh, there is a nonsense, I'm one. I am who I am and no other soul is sharing a joint custody with my body. Why not? Don't convince me there's something infinitely great in it to my being. There we go. Huh. <laughs> yes. Just look at the events we've set in motion. Our souls are meant to soar, and they'll soar yet. Spiritual. Right, what have you got for us? Uh, zigzag. Zigzag. Hall of Secrets. What have we here? A study? Wonderful. About time you got an education. Right, what have you got for us in here then? Guardians. Dear guardians. When I see your faces, it is like the barriers of time tumble in upon themselves. But oh, how my heart aches when I think of the duty you adopted. It was more than even the gods had the right to ask of you. You did not want it, but you took it upon yourselves nonetheless. Though many wailed and many wept in a ruptured world, wherein all resolve had crumbled, you renounced life and liberty to stand guard and protect every last morsel of creation. When I despair, I think of your sacrifice. In my darkest hours, I cherish the resolve that was you. Such thing to be cherished. Even though apparently we had to give up life and liberty for that to happen. It seems we were quite selfless in our previous incarnation. Uh, right, we have an ancient letter. Have a quick look at that. A book. What do we have on this? Tales of the Seven Gods. Okay, that's a long read, so there you go. Feel free to pause and read. Uh, another ancient letter. Again, about the generals. Another book. What is this one? In the event of one of the Divine One's return. According to prophecy, the Divine One will lead our people into a better world. But what will this new world look like? I have read nearly all texts regarding Reuben Ferrell, the author of the prophecy. And the more I study his words, the more inconsistencies I find. What kind of person would this Divine One be? Will every living being see this vision for the new world? Or will the Divine One select individuals? According to the prophecy, the Divine One will destroy all evil. How can lovers of creation advocate for their destruction? Can the Divine One really distinguish between good and evil? 
or will he choose what is evil according to a preset moral code? Wow, okay, that's very deep. <laughs> Anything else there? Broad school, bucket, ancient letter. I think we've done that. Always take more empty flasks. Thank you, and full ones. Trap disarm, bed daughter, all yours. Beds. And the Teller of Secrets. Let's make sure there's nothing else around here before we talk to her. Hammer Bucket. Offspring of heaven, firstborn. Tell me about yourself. About me. The Guardian's first disobedience, and the fruit of that forbidden box, whose depths brought death into this world, and all our woe with loss of source, I remember. I come no spy with purpose to explore or to disturb the secrets of your realm, but secrets of my own I bring. The secrets of another world, perhaps not lawful to reveal. How did you come to this place? Which way I fly is here. Myself I'm here, but in the lowest deep. A lower deep still threatening to devour this homestead opens wide. Not very direct, are you? Whence thou returnest, and whither wentest, I know. Direction hardly signifies. I'm interested in find out more about your secrets. To ask or search, I blame thee not. For Rivalon is as the Book of the Gods before thee set, wherein to read his wondrous works and learn his seasons, hours or days or months or years. Alright, we're not going to fork out money for these, I don't think. How much have we got? 6,850. We're going to need that, I think. So we'll take the leave of the secrets at the moment. Anything up there? No. Didn't check the desk, did we? No. There we go. I don't think this exact needs to speak to us, but we'll just give a quick check. fine. I don't think we need to partake of that. Right, let us go back to Cabin of the White Witch. Throw in a little save. And let's have a little chat with these mushrooms, shall we? Mushroom Ikari. Ooh, I could do a killing you. Oh, level 12. Why, right, you can wait. <laughs> Addressing us? Uh, talking mushroom. Now I've seen everything. Oh, somehow we doubt that very much. Have you ever seen a dragon's pyjamas? A rat in a Sunday hat? No, no, Source Hunter. We do believe this life hasn't finished surprising you. Not in the least. What do you know about this barrier? It's quite a lovely sort of barrier, isn't it? Who doesn't enjoy a gentle, breezy motion against one's backside after all? Then again, we suspect it's been hoisted up by some not-so-savoury characters. And we happen to know just how to remove it. The only trouble is finding the right sort of clever sort of intrepid sort of person to entrust such a secret to. Here's what we propose. We've a fresh batch of three brain teasers hot off our thinking caps. Perhaps, if you can answer them correctly, 
we might find you spirited enough to entrust with the barrier's deepest, darkest secrets. But it isn't all fun and games. We hardly offer second chances to the beriddled. If you give us a single false answer, we'll clam up like morning glories at midnight. So, do you have what it takes? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm all for the challenge. This is better news than the Orc Queen misplacing her thumbscrew. But enough delays. Let us begin. Your first riddle begins thus. The ravenous brute tore down my chartreuse gown, ripped out my silken hair by its roots, wrenched my children from me, and fed me to the hogs. <gasps> Who am I? You're an ear of corn. That's right. An ear of corn fits perfectly. Bravo, bravo, bravissimo. An ear of corn indeed. Can you imagine a sheep in a chartreuse gown? A pumpkin with silken hair? The fantasies of a fool. Now, on to our second riddle. And this one's sure to stump you. I cannot lie, I cannot lay, but only lie. Who am I? You're a stone. That's right. A stone fits perfectly. You've done it again. I'm thrilled. I'm amazed. I'm liable to... to present the very last riddle. This one will blow you out of your stockings. So hold on tight. I've a neck as long as twice the width of a toad's tail. As many eyes as half the number of seasons per annum. I'm known to cause hurricanes in the Far East merely by taking off two minutes too late. Who am I? Uh, you're a butterfly. Ooh, very good. Very good. The last person who tried to solve that riddle puffed away in a small impish huff, mumbling about space-time. But not you. You stuck it out until the very end, you crafty little so-and-so. So, what would you like to know? Uh, one to One thing barrier. you know for certain. This barrier doesn't belong here. The wizard Maradino knew as much when he started poking around here. He developed a spell to remove it. But his fancy was caught elsewhere before he bothered to implement it. Down the spell dropped, and up we scooped it. Unfortunately, we aren't quite human enough to get it to work. But you've proven yourself just the right sort of clever, sort of intrepid sort of person we'd love to entrust such a secret to. What you know about the White Witch? We thought you'd never ask. What would you like to know? Who is she exactly? Call her the Guardian of Lukula. And by our estimations, she's more than earned the title. She's a healing witch, concerned mostly with the safety of the living souls, animals and plants alike, of this forest. And she's been here since even before our great, 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 great grandmother, Francisca Toadstool the 44th, can recall. We've long lodged adjacent to her little cabin. And she used to greet us with a, how do you do, every morning. We do hope she's not entangled in anything unsavory. What a shame it'd be if someone with a penchant for heavy-handed hoe-wielding moved in. Do you know anything about the White Witch's involvement in the murder of Councillor Jake? Murder? That doesn't sound like her at all, no. Much more interested in patching things up than tearing them down, that one. Then again, it's hard to tell on what stalk a person truly stands until you've seen them at the end of their rope. Isn't that so? We suppose if someone held a sword to our cats, we'd fight them with every last spore we had. Uh, where is the White Witch? Somewhere in her cabin, as far as we know. The last we saw her, she and her apprentice Almina were rushing inside, whispering to one another. They seemed rather anxious. Perhaps they knew that those Immaculates were on their trail. A group of them followed some time after and erected the barrier around the cabin. We haven't seen the White Witch or Almina since. Well, thank you, Mushroom Ikari. I'll take my leave. Log updated. Fun with fungi. Source Hunter's Journey. And find the witch. Right.
I was just trying to get the barrier down. Should be here somewhere. It appears Maradino had some talent mixed in with all that hot air. He certainly knew how to remove magical barriers, if nothing else. All right, for my fungi, that is done. Let the looting commence. Um, Medora. Anything around here that we need? You never know. A little hidden crest of crevice crevices. If you can actually say the word. Right. Mycology, what the hell's that? Broad school. Don't want a bucket. Ooh, chest. Their daughter. Um. Well, Medora, have I. That's a single or two handed. That's Medora. Let's see if she can use that. Blacksmithing and lock picking. Well, it really should be. Uh, Bear daughter. Uh, empty bottle, empty bottle. Oh, let's have a see what my ecology was. Right, I can go to Medora. Medora. And that. Oh, it's her lucky day. Two hundred and ninety nine ways to wisdom. You don't have time for most of the suggestions listed in the book. Okay. Read mycology. Okay. Alright, one thing we need to do before I go any further. Get that in there. Right. Through the mirror. Update. Find the witch. Magical mirror took us down into a hidden room with a carriage cabin. We're still no sign of the witch herself. We must push on. Okay. About rifts. Bucket. Closet key. Magical tragedies. Potion bottles always. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Staff kit part one. Treasure! Big treasure. Yep. The place seems to have been searched in a hurry. Searched? I'd say ransacked is more apt. I think I'd agree with you, Roderick. Certainly seems to have been ransacked. Right, very quickly now we need to have a look at that. Uh, Medora. Medora. She can have that as well. Cool. 
Right, somebody using that stuff. Combine with. Very nice. Send that to Scarlet. Oh, yes, we'll have some of that, definitely. Fire, water, air, that can go to Rodri now for selling. Fire, water, air, yeah. That. And go to Roderick. Why well, she got two thousand on her? That's better. Okay, a bit further. Don't want that. A quick spoiler alert here for you folks as well. Now, as regards to Bear Daughter. Of course, I'm not the wrong person talking about her. Be very careful of the conversations that you have with her. Try and choose the best option that you can. Because, again, spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear what happens to Bear Daughter, skip on about five seconds. Because... If you give her the wrong, answer the questions wrongly when you talk to her, when you get to a certain point in the game, she will join the enemy and you'll have to kill her. So, spoiler alert over. I was just letting you know because I found out <laughs> to my horror at a certain point in the game that I was fighting well outnumbered and with Bear Daughter on the opposite side so I suggest that you uh, be very careful with the selections of the answers that you give her oiled great is that a diary? I fear how much time left now and they're coming. I certainly not have secured anything of value in a hidden chest that no one managed to find, but there's nowhere I can hide myself from the horrors that await me. Okay. A chest full of hidden valuables, is it? But it could be anywhere. So we'll look everywhere. Did you expect to find it marked on your map? Right, just very quickly, because we don't need all this junk on us. I mean, that can go to Midora, because it can turn into portions, but that can go to the homestead. That can go to the homestead. In fact, most of this can. That definitely can. 4270. Oh, I could have used that wand. I forgot that on the save I'm using a, a two-handed, okay, so I need to remember that, Nick, when you're playing this. Right, so we're now entering the cave, and I think we're coming up to roughly 50, 55 minutes, so I think we will call it there for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and don't forget, if you do like the videos, please leave a like and subscribe. It's very nice, it'd be great to hit the 300. Thanks very much, folks. This is All Grey, signing off.